In this video, I will show you a bit of a different approach that we're used to um, in 3D Survey. This is a case where um, you need no other equipment but just 3D Survey. So I guess some of you are also working without scanners or without drones. That's not our typical users, but we also got you covered. So here we download the uh, national uh, leader point clouds that are available in Slovenia. Many European countries do uh, support this option. We just import them into 3D Survey, and now we will see them pop up. They are pre-classified, so they um, they have buildings and vegetation on three levels and ground, and they look like this. So this is our Castle Hill, and uh, we can do some of the uh, in visualization uh, uh, filters. So you can view high, height map, or this is the um, bounce uh, return data uh, visualization. So you can see in the forested areas, there are more rebounds. And this is the height map. First of all, I want to merge these point clouds so I can work on them as they are just one point cloud. And now I will deselect some of the classes because let's say I want to do a physical 3D model of this uh, city. So I want to print out this in a 3D printer, or I want to make a um, ground level with buildings. So I just leave these classes on. And now I will calculate a DSM. Grid cell size is half a meter. And I leave on the hole filling uh, because there are some holes uh, because I uh, unchecked some of the classes. Now this is our 3D model of our capital with a castle hill and a castle on top. You can see the pathways leading up, uh, leading up there. And what if I was tasked to um, produce a 3D model of a new castle model? So. For example, our mayor asked us to tear down the old castle and build a new one. And he wants to know how that would look like. I can, for example, first flatten the old castle. I select it and there's a flatten command right over there. And our castle is gone, okay? And now what I will do, I will just load the new one. And because it was done, in a third-party software, it's on zero, zero coordinates, which doesn't really fit into our existing 3D model, but no problem. You can see all the um, coordinates are zero. That's why we added the transformation tool. So here I will input the coordinates of our location and the castle gets transported there immediately. And it's rotate it wrongly. So I will also rotate it around the omega axis and now it fits a bit of a correction on the height and position it a bit more back and left and right. And there it is. That's how our new castle would look like. See? But that's just a speculative scenario. So nothing will happen to our existing castle, which is pretty nice. Um, but you could do this in 3D Survey without any physical equipment. Another thing I would like to show you on this case is you can do contour lines, which if I may um, uh, say uh, are in the process of improvement, but that's all I'll say. Uh, soon they will be much more pretty. Um, and it is generated really quickly uh, on half meter equidistance. And that's the way we can visualize them in 3D survey. All the pathways now are even better visible, see? And we can export them in DXF, in 3D or 2D.